Day Medical Monday. All day long, our next guest dealt with numbness and tingling in her left hand, and it only got worse at night, turning painful and waking her up. Joining us with a diagnosis and the procedure that finally took care of the problem, welcome back hand surgeon Dr. Mark Harsandi with Hand Surgery Specialist of Texas and his patient, Sherry Ingram. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Uh, Sherry, so I mentioned some of your, your symptoms that were going on there, and this is pretty typical of a lot of people, but even so, we, and we know it could be carpal tunnel syndrome, are a lot of people misdiagnosed or do they put it off for a long time? Absolutely. Uh, the answer is both. Uh, patients, typically when I get to see them, is they've already had symptoms of numbness and tingling for several months. And usually what brings them in is finally the pain becomes so unbearable that they can't sleep at night, they have their arm hanging off the bed, they're uncomfortable, they're losing sleep, then it affects their work the next day. Yeah, what's causing all of that stuff to happen? Well, simply put, carpal tunnel is pressure on a nerve in your hand here. And when the, and the pressure gets uh, increased, the nerve gets pinched, and it, it creates uh, less uh, uh, feeling to the fingertips. And over time, that, that continued pressure causes pain that radiates to your shoulder, neck, arm, and everywhere else. Yeah. So it's just pressure on the nerve. And um, the best thing to do is to take that pressure off to get the relief. Yeah. All right, Sherry, we know this can be inconvenient for anybody, but especially you because you had a full active life. What types of things did you do that this carpal tunnel was really getting in the way? Um, I love to fish um, all the time. And I hunt. I use a... Look at that, you Texas lady. <laughs> <laughs> I use a gun and a bow. And um, the pulling on the bow was like 40 pounds. And I couldn't even just pull it back anymore. It yeah. just got so painful. Was this something that was gradual that you noticed little things at first? It was. Um, it started off with just a little tingling of the fingertips. Mm -hmm. What do you think it was? I didn't really know what it was. I just couldn't figure it out because yeah. I didn't really understand the whole oh my god okay maybe arthritis <laughs> yeah yeah that's one thing that people think but the thing too is that unless it's like an emergency at that moment that we're feeling like oh my gosh if I don't get in I'm gonna die right. sometimes we put things off so you're thinking don't know what it is a little tingling but then progressively things got worse like really waking you up at night and give yes. people an idea of what we're talking about you're not just waking up going oh that kind of ached it was really searing pain that was really painful um, it would start in the hand and then kind of work up as all the way up to my neck and then my whole arm would be numb and then the tingling was so bad that I mean if I touched something I couldn't feel yeah um, or if I would lift something up I would drop it and this became more frequent yes yeah and there are a lot of different issues and illnesses that can mimic that we know that sometimes with MS is the where you can't grab things or you're dropping things or mm -hmm. you know arthritis things like that so uh, is this one of those things also that if you keep putting it off that the damage gets worse yes it could uh, you know the time and the amount of pressure on the nerve uh, will cause permanent irreversible damage so uh, patients that have hand pain and hand problems should see a specialist sooner than later. At least get a diagnosis. Yeah. Like you say, Deborah, it could be anything. It could be a neurological problem. It could be a heart attack. It could be just tendonitis. But you never know for sure until you have an expert take a look at it. Yeah. All right. There are various ways to treat this. We know uh, oftentimes people are told, okay, well, let's put your hand in this splint. And you did that, Sherry? Yes. I did the splint for about six months and then I did the injections in the wrist and um, this was from a, another doctor that I had seen yeah and then he wanted to do the open incision where it was going to be my whole palm right and I just and that whole like, scar there too okay right just like now. everything else in technology uh, there have been new ways to do this particular surgery so let's talk about the new way of doing this surgery that is more effective I guess less downtime because you're not really dealing with as much trauma to the hand correct we, we uh, primarily choose to do endoscopic carpal tunnel release and we've been doing it for many years it's not as new as you think yeah. we we do well, the, it just points to the fact that not all doctors are the same. You have to do your correct. research. That's correct. Our technique has been proven. It's a, there's a published paper with almost 14,000 um, procedures done by doctors in our office. It was published in a very prestigious um, journal. And we've had 98% of our patients successful. It's done through very small incisions, uh, two little tiny incisions in the palm versus a big cut in the hand. The recovery is very quick. It's outpatient, you come in and go home the same day. 
a uh, small splint is worn for one week, and then after that, you go to unrestricted activities uh, thereafter. Yeah, my mom had the surgery done years ago, the open technique you're talking about, and I see the scar mm -hmm. down her, her hand and wrist, but looking at yours, um, that's it. a little dot. That's it. And I would not have noticed it had you not pointed mm -hmm. that out. It's just a little dot there. Mm -hmm. All right, so how's your hand functioning for you today? Uh, I went fishing last weekend. You went fishing last weekend? <laughs> This bit. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, women are more likely to have carpal tunnel than men. Do we know why that is? I think um, I don't. I don't know. It's only like a slight difference, and I'm not sure. It could be multifactorial. It's probably because we're just much more busy, don't you think, with our hands? That could be it. Okay. That's exactly it. <laughs> That's it. All right. Well, hand surgery specialist of Texas has a special offer for Great Day viewers. If you call today and mention you saw them on the show and receive a free carpal tunnel screening valued at $150. To learn more, visit carpaltunnelpros.com, carpaltunnelpros.com, or call this number, 713-374-4263, 713-374-4263. At least if you have these symptoms, find out what it is, and then, of course, you can get it taken care of and go fishing with Sherry. All right. Thank you very much. Well, glasses.